The 2012 Plaza Art Fair opens in just two days. Hundreds of artists will showcase their work on the Country Club Plaza this weekend, including this year's featured artist, Laura Nugent, and she's here with us now. Laura, how many years have you been doing this art fair? This will be my fifth year. Fifth year. And the story is, how did you get to be the featured artist? Kind of, look at you, kind of a big deal. Well, it was for me. Um, Kara Lowe, who is the director of the art fair, called me and she asked if I would do the artwork for the banners. And um, of course I said, yes. <laughs> and then she said, we need it right away. We need it in days. So I Isn't made... that always the case? You're an art, we need this yesterday. You're like, oh yeah, I'll get right on that. Yes. So, um, but fortunately she, she was able to give me a lot of direction with what they needed. So the work, the, the banner itself, the painting is very much like my work, the pattern, um, only we used a palette that would complement the colors on, that you see on the plaza in the tile work and the buildings themselves are obviously representative of the architecture down there. How many art fairs do you participate in in a year? Is that is that your livelihood right there? Are you art fair to art fair? It, it can be. Um, this year I'll probably be at 18 shows. 18? But is this is this the big kahuna because this is home for you? This would be, yes, this would be the, the fall classic, as I like to call it. Now, what kind of art do you do? I noticed that you brought some pieces, so let's talk a little bit about your creative style. Um, I tend to use a lot of non-painting influences in my work, so a lot of people say that it's more reminiscent of a textile or a quilt it's very pretty. than a painting. Um, so pattern and color are definitely the things that I start with. Now, when you guys get together at the Plaza Art Fair, is it like old home week? Do all the artists know each other? Or when you go to art fairs, is it like, hey, I just saw you 10 minutes ago? It, um, I certainly know most of the artists in Kansas City who do shows. And so, I mean, I drove to Sun Valley, Idaho this summer and pulled up to set up my booth and two people from Kansas <laughs> City were right behind me. <laughs> And so it does feel very much like family, and it's that familiar thing that you need when you're so far away from home. Now, where, where are we going to find you? Where is someone going to find you? Have you are you going to start setting up first thing Friday morning? or when Friday you... morning is set up. Uh, the show starts at 5. Yes. I'll be in booth 223. 223. Which, ladies, is across from Tibble. <laughs> um, and I have been in that spot for several years, so please look for me. <laughs> now tell me why should people come down to the Plaza Art Fair? Uh, other than it's just, it's a good, it's good people watching and there's a lot of great art. Um, the Plaza Art Fair is the show that 1,400 artists applied to be in and about 200 were invited. So I want the people of Kansas City to know that to get to that level in these artists' careers is a big deal. They will bring their best to the show and the show is there for them to enjoy. I can't wait. Okay, one year, my friend, I remember this, my friend Paula, she has applied every single year and she got in one year and literally she knows what a big deal this is. So I, is. I'm tickled. Across from Tibble. Booth Across what? Tibble. 223. 223. <laughs> Laura Nugent, thank you so much. We're looking forward. I'll see you Saturday, dear. Thanks, so looking Michael. forward to it. And it looks like perfect weather, too. So score. Bring so, a jacket. I know. Let's